Rico. Hello, I'm calling to the East Hampton Appointments Committee to order at 515 on August 4th. Councillor Flood and Councillor Kozinski, myself, Councillor Rothschild are present, and resident Ken. Ayavekia. Ayavekia. Ayavekia, you got it. <laughs> is here. Um, our first order of business is approving the minutes from July 28th. Did anyone like to get a chance to look them over? Can we make a motion? Uh, JP, well, I made the minutes, so I don't know if I can make the motion, but I would gladly you can make the motion. Yes. <laughs> uh, I would move to approve the minutes from July 28th. No, second. And I, I vote for Erica. I am an I. JP, I. I. So move the minutes are. Very efficient. Good job. Awesome. Into the record. Boom. And we only have one order of business today, and that is to meet our mayoral appointee, Ken. Yeah, Yavekia. I have Yavekia. I'm going to say it by the end of this meeting. I will. Yeah. I'm never going to run yeah. it. I have Yavekia. <laughs> um, so, so we ask all our uh, appointees the same questions, and you know we can ask you follow-up questions. We're just so happy that you're here. We like meeting the people coming through. Um, awesome. So the first one is, why are you interested in serving on this committee, uh, the planning board? Well, I, I've, I'm a 15-year member, 15, I've been living here for 15 years, and um, I've done volunteer work here. I've been on the cultural chaos, uh, jubilation, you know, the citywide cleanup, the pass a comet, you know, cleanup, and I wanted to contribute in a more meaningful way, and I felt like the um, disposition would allow me to contribute and learn, learn and contribute. Um, understand the planning zone laws and, and how they work for business and how it works for the growth of the, the city and the inclusion of people in the city. So um, I thought that that's, this would be a good uh, position. Great. And in what ways do you see yourself being able to contribute to this committee with your... Um, you know, I, I've got a, a sense of um, housing and business and how zoning laws can help the city grow and how zoning laws can help the city be cohesive. So um, I'm hoping to learn more about that uh -huh. and um, put my spin on it and contribute that way. I'm a non-voting member, um, so my plan is to really dig deep and learn about the, the position. Cool. Do you guys have more questions to follow up to the first couple? I do not. I would just point out um, I am making minutes on the screen over here. So if you see me looking this way, it's not because okay. I'm not paying attention. <laughs> you can um, hear us. <laughs> I think those are very thoughtful responses to the questions. Um, and I really want to thank you for your, your long term commitment to the community. Yeah, yeah. And when you were talking about your spin, I'm just curious, like, you in inclusion, I was just wondering if you could tell us more about that, like, some things you might like to, you know, you don't have to have clear crystal ideas right now, but just your ideas. Zoning laws can help um, people who don't, are in a, a high income bracket to, to um, build a home or build a business here. And hopefully those laws um, could help someone you know, um, get an affordable house, a mm -hmm. apartment or whatnot. Mm -hmm. um, and, and you already mentioned, I guess, in the first question, ways you're already engaging with the East Hampton community. Oh, yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah. Um, cultural chaos, jubilation, uh -huh. citywide cleanup, pass a comic. So I've done a lot of volunteer work, and I like doing it. Oh, so cool. it's not a chore to me. It's getting out there, meeting people, and seeing how, you know, what East Hampton is all about. And like I said, I've been here 15 years. I actually consider this my hometown. I do. I grew up in Enfield, but I've never felt as welcome in any other city than East Hampton. So I love this city. Awesome. What do you do for work in your non-volunteer time? <laughs> I work in IT and I work for an insurance company and I've been there for 38 years. Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> Someone didn't like that answer. <laughs> My poor little dog is blowing <laughs> the older dog. Um, good. Well, thank you for joining us. Do you have any questions, JP? Or well, Ken, I, I I just wanted to say, you know, it's great that you're wanting to get more involved and become even more committed to the city. And it's great to hear that you really enjoy being here. Yeah, feeling, feeling welcome because that's to me what having a community is all about is yeah. helping to make a warm and welcoming place for all people right uh, and and i think on the planning board you'll have that opportunity uh in a variety of different ways to to help settle some issues that that arise mm -hmm. and sometimes they're they're easy and sometimes they can they can get warm to heated a bit because <laughs> it involves some, some some passion sometimes and people get very passionate about about their their zone of their area sure. their uh, zone their area yeah so i was just i was i was just curious and I, about your work and i'm glad you shared about being in i in it mm -hmm. and coming from a business business background with the insurance industry mm -hmm. uh, and and it's interesting that you volunteer and work with cultural chaos yeah. with, an with an insurance insurance background. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> they don't like chaos. They do not like chaos. They like orderly. You know, <laughs> they can predict predictions. That's <laughs> right. <laughs> so so that's wonderful. And I did hear you you say one thing, but I I just wanted to be sure because mm -hmm. maybe I don't understand it clearly. Mm -hmm. And and as a non-voting member, mm -hmm. does does that mean that you never get an opportunity to step up, or or do you attend the meetings and maybe be asked to vote if voting members can't attend? That's correct. That, that, yeah, I sh I should have said that. I, I that's how I understand it. If uh, a voting member is out or something happens, um, that I would step in. That's right. what I'm understanding. That's I, I just didn't want you. Talk. Going away thinking. Oh no 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 no! Yeah, yeah no, I know. I'm an they have answer. to be asked to vote. <laughs> is my, my my thought. So, uh, well, uh, certainly welcome for uh, for uh, making that this application of interest. Thank you, thank yeah. you. Yeah, I've seen your name a lot. I think I've met you a couple times, but yes. quickly. Yeah. But it's nice to see you again. And what I've really learned about so when in this capacity serving the city is just it really takes a village. It and does just take like everyone place. contributing to the city, like all together, we make it work. So um, I'm just always happy and grateful for people stepping forward and getting to know each other because that's an important thing too. And we need sure. when we're thinking about planning, we can call people. You know, we've met you already. We, we we have a face to a name. So sure. we live in a small town, and so that's an advantage that we can really get to know each other. I agree. I agree. And I'm excited about it. I love East Hampton, and I want to you know. Get in there, learn, dig deep, and 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 uh, JP, I understand that some some of the 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 legal or some of the the issues that come up are probably going to be complicated. You know what I mean? So um, I'm going to pay attention to to the nuances of of decisions and stuff like that before I vote. You know what I mean? Um, Good. Well, does anyone? Like I think I would definitely enjoy the people. Um, planning board. Uh, yep. I think we have a, a good mix of of, of people mm -hmm. from various walks of life uh, and various points and positions in a, within our community. So yes. it's a good a good mix, and I think you'd enjoy that. So right. I, I certainly would be in favor of recommending you to uh, the full council. And if the, chair, if the chair thinks it's appropriate, I would make a motion at this time to uh, recommend the appointment of uh, Kevin Iavecchia. Ken. Or Ken, Ken. I'm sorry, Ken. That's all right. <laughs> I and you said my yeah. last name right, so that's good. <laughs> <laughs> to, the, to the planning board as an alternate member. I will second that motion. Okay, great. And that's with a um, term ending 2020, wait, wait, 2023, 12 31, 2023, just for the record. Yep. Okay. So all in favor, JP? Aye. Erica? I am an I. And Lindsay, aye. Awesome. <laughs> so I, appreciate, I appreciate the opportunity in your faith in me. So thank you.
Great. Well, thank you. And I guess we're going to probably chime off now. We have a motion to adjourn because we have another meeting at six o'clock where we get to then recommend you to the full council. Awesome. <laughs> to adjourn. I'll second that. Okay. All in favor? Aye. I'm an aye. And I'm an aye. Okay. Adjourned. Thank you, thank you so much. Have a thank great you evening. Too. You Bye -bye. too. Bye-bye.